I've got a commander set up for my ICOM 7610 and this will work for the 7300 also. I'll show you how I added these buttons, the user defined controls and these sliders. Alright, the first thing you'll need to do is download some files and you can go to the DX Lab Yahoo group and uh, download some files there if you want or you can go to my website, I'll put the link below. I've got a few of them here. And uh, the buttons are under sequences and then of course the sliders are under sliders. I'm going to click on sequences and download this first one. I'll right click on it and then go down to save link as it'll ask me where I want to put it and I'm putting it under the sequences DX lab and then commander and then sequences in my computer and then I'll just click save there's no need for me to replace it but go through and select the ones that you want download it to a folder and then when you pull up DX Lab Commander to activate these user-defined controls, you want to click on the config button and go down here and select this top one. And this top one just shows a few of them. The bottom one shows a lot more. I don't need that many right now, so I've selected the top, show within main window and I can click the X here and when you bring it up the first time these buttons will be blank and all you have to do is right click on a button it'll bring up this window and here we can go and load the files that we downloaded that first one the F5 I set up as the tuner so I'm going to click on load I've downloaded the file here under DX Lab Commander and Sequences, I'm going to select the tuner and then click Open. It fills in everything for me. And I can test it out just by simply clicking Run. My tuner activated. I click it again and it'll tune. Okay, let's do it again. I'm going to select this button that's blank. I'm going to right click on it, it brings up the window and this is going to be my tune so I'm going to go over to load and select the tune open it fills in just a little bit up there at the top I can test it and what this one will do is just activate the tuner and there it goes click the X to close it and you can fill in the rest of the buttons if you like. The tuner turns on the tuner and then if I change frequency and I need to tune my antenna again then I just hit the tune button and it activates it. But the one on the left will turn it off. So right now it's off, it's in bypass mode. And I can turn it back on by selecting it let's take a look at the sliders the sliders are a little bit different you want to go underneath the slider with your mouse double click and it brings up a window and again all you have to do is go over to load and this is in my DX Lab commander sliders directory and this one is the AF gain so I'd select that open and it fills it in my volume went up a little bit turn it back down some. That's how you fill in the sliders. Okay that does it for DX Lab Commander and I use these buttons every once in a while I'll use the sliders but most of the time I use the front of the radio. It is kind of convenient to have them on the screen though. Alright well thanks for watching I hope you find it useful and informative. Please remember to like subscribe and share. Tell your friends 73 and good DX.